Hey everybody. So, um, I have a couple of different sizes of this punch. So I went ahead and tested out, I'm using the 3 fourths of an inch uh, punch. And I just used the tail end of a piece of scrap leather from earlier. And I'm threading it onto my buckle to make sure that that size and length of loop is appropriate for this buckle. And I do believe so. Check that out. That worked out pretty well. So I'm really glad that I tested it. It never hurts to, uh, to do that. And so I'm going to set this buckle back aside with the other ones. Um, I'm going to be starting by using, this is an end punch and it's going to give us a very nice effect on the ends of all of our straps. It, it just, it has an excellent way of making them very uniform and nicely, just a, a little bit more of a professional finish on them. Now you can get these in a couple of different sizes. This is the smallest one that I have, but I like the nice little tidy V that it gives me without taking up too much space on the, uh, on the leather, some of them, the one that would have been more appropriately sized to the 5 8 inch wide strap would have given me a longer taper to the edge, but I don't mind it looking like this, not a bit. Like, it would have been more that shaped. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through and I'm going to do this to the ends of all of these straps that I've cut for the buckles. That's all taken care of. This is very heavy and sharp, so I'm going to go ahead and put it away so I don't knock it off and it lands on my foot and I lose a toe. But yeah, so that step's all taken care of. I'm going to gather up on a little crud. And now the next step is I have a hole punch in one eighth of an inch. Where is it? Two eighths. Ah, one eighth an inch and I'm going to come in just in line with where those three corners converge and that's where I'm going to do a hole for a rivet. Now this is an instance where I'm going to be using my wing divider and I have it set to half an inch. So half an inch from where that rivet was or rivet hole is where I'm going to line up this longer hole for the tongue of the belt buckle. Give it a good solid flax to get it nice and settled and then I'm going to use the wing divider again to mark another hole and so now that is where that's going to be coming through and uh, riveting to hold my little belt in place. And I'm going to do this to all of these. Okay. So there we have these four. So now I'm going to mark sides of the strap. This is a very lightweight aluminum and it has this removable like stopper in the end so you can take the crud out. Um, I very much prefer, I have a larger heavy duty one. I like that one way better. But this is what I've got in this size so this is what I'm working with. alternative to if you do not have this tool is the length that you want it to be just punch a hole there and there then go through with a knife and cut out the connecting part but again this tool was only like maybe eight bucks 
and it's, if you're going to be doing this a lot, it saves you a lot of time and effort and gives you very consistent results. So while I have these four on my cutting board, I am going to go ahead and mark and punch the second rivet hole. So now, I'm going to do the other ones. Okay. So now we have all of the buckle ends done, but now we're going to do the ends where it attaches to the uh, to the greave itself. And for this one, I want my rivets to be roughly an inch apart. I actually have on the edge of my desk here. I don't know if you can see it, but I have little de I've demarked where uh, you know the inch increments and filed into the wood and then darkened it with like I don't know some ink or paint or something. Um, <laughs> that way I don't have to always dig out a ruler and I, I can't lose it. It would be really difficult because it is literally right on the edge of my desk. Okay. And so for the first hole, I want it to be the same concept as this one down here. Just right where the three points at the ends converge. And then another point, an inch in. And the wing divider just helps so much. All I have to do is eyeball and make sure that it is equidistant from the edges. Now also I do prefer that to do this uh, to dry leather as opposed to a wet leather because the wet leather can leave little puckers and it grabs more um, than the dry leather does. I'm saving some of the laptop so it's gonna die. Well, I'm not even plugged into you over there anymore, am I? Okay. Random beeping. Okay. Also, if you have any problems with your hole punches sticking, just rub the edge with some beeswax and it'll help pull it out, but it does also possibly complicate dyeing the inside of the hole that you've punched because the beeswax seals it a bit. Um, pros and cons, keep them in mind. Okay, now I'm going to set this aside. Um, we are going to be beveling the edges of all these straps. So again, very time consuming, but contest and they're looking at craftsmanship and the judge knows what they're doing and knows what they're looking at they're going to notice all of this work and attention to details that you did and it's really going to shine through and you're going to you're going to directly reap the benefits of it Yeah, so I've been working on these greaves for, I think this was my fourth day of, I finished the fur this morning. Um, I did my last, like, I think it was 23 segments of fur, <laughs> uh, of yarn to get then brush into fur. And it was just, I even, I extorted child labor, y'all. Um, one of my friends' daughters came over and she's like 11. Or 13 I don't know she's like she's a good kid like but she's at that age where um, 
any time you're not at home or not around your parents is like the coolest time ever. So she came over and just like chilled out at my drafting table with me and uh, we watched Supergirl and uh, she did like a good third of one of, <laughs> of the fur on one of my graves. And uh, thank God because that saved me probably another day worth of brushing. And th this is just the graves. I still have the rest of the stinking cosplay to do. And it was just like, I, I hit a little bit of a plateau and I was feeling like, oh no, what did I get myself into? And it's just, it was very daunting. But I think these greaves are also the most fur dense piece of the rest of the costume. Um, so maybe the worst is behind us. I just found a raisin that used to be a grape, but then became a raisin on my work desk. Don't live like this, people. This is not healthy. 